Okay, guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Uh, we're going to get into some real details. Let's look and see what really happened uh, to PNB Rock. Subscribe, guys. Go ahead and subscribe. And are giving us new details about what led. Let's go back. This, this, uh... The documents are giving us new details about what led to the arrests and the killing of rapper PNB Rock. Did you hear with the latest? Now, both Freddie Lee Trone, who had been on the run but was arrested in Las Vegas yesterday, and his 17-year-old son have been charged with murder in the death of rapper PNB Rock, although prosecutors say it was the teenager who actually shot and killed him. And today we're learning more about what happened that fateful day. Now, the timeline in the felony complaint says that Freddie Lee Trone met with someone outside Roscoe's just moments after PNB Rock and his girlfriend arrived. Trone is then seen leaving, but he returns shortly. This time, he's with his 17-year-old son, who was reportedly armed with a gun. Trone drops him off a short distance away from Roscoe's. The teen then walks into the restaurant and goes straight to the table where the rapper and his girlfriend were eating, pointing a gun at them, prosecutors allege, and saying, quote, give me all of your jewelry now. The timeline then has the teen shooting PNB in the chest just like that. And after he fell to the ground, prosecutors say the teen shot him two more times in the back. The felony complaint goes on to say the teenager then pointed that gun at PNB's girlfriend, Steph, saying, quote, show me your hands. Give me that blank right now. I swear to God, I shoot you in the head. The teen then took her jewelry, but it didn't end there. The complaint went on to say that as the rapper lay dying on the floor, the teenager robbed him too taking his chains and watch, and even pulling his rings off of his fingers. The timeline ends with the father and son driving home, but prosecutors say they parked blocks away and walked home with the teen disposing of his shoes and shirt along the way. The felony complaint makes no mention of that now infamous social media post from PNB's girlfriend that tagged them eating at Roscoe's, although police say the investigation is not over yet. Okay, guys. Now listen.